Hey guys, I'm Wes and you're watching another episode of The Mix Shift. Today we're going to be taking the show back to where we originally started, which was crafts inspired by everyday objects. For today's craft, we're going to use a water bottle because I see these everywhere and most of the time they're thrown out, sometimes recycled, but today we're going to be using it to make our own makeshift version of this guy, Awkward Octopus. It's going to be really easy, really quick, fun project. Here are the materials we need. We need scissors, wire or string, uh, wire cutters if you use the wire, a black marker, hole puncher, and our water bottle. All right, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna create the octopus head or body. What you're gonna do is cut the bottle uh, maybe a third of the way, right here, just all the way around. All right, so this is gonna be the head of the octopus. Depending on how big you want your octopus or how tall you want it, um, this is going to be that height. So if you want, you know, a short head, it'd be like here. I'm going to want mine a little shorter than this. So he has a very short, stubby head. Next, we're going to use the rest of the bottle to make the legs. You see this section right here is pretty flat. We're going to use that. Alright, so this is going to make the legs of our octopus. Cut out strips from this. One, two, three, four. And do that again with this section. At this point, you're going to have eight of these little strips, and these are going to be the eight legs that go around the octopus's body. And these legs, uh, they don't have to be this length. If you want them shorter, you just cut them shorter. I'm actually gonna round out the edges because like our awkward octopus, he has nice round tentacles. So with our eight legs, just round it out. The last step before we paint our octopus is we're gonna attach the tentacles onto the body. And we're gonna do that by punching holes in both of these and then stringing it with this wire. What you wanna do is punch two holes in the leg and two holes in the body. So you're going to have two holes, one above the other, eight times, all the way around. This is the rounded part of the tentacle, and then this is the top. We're going to punch our two holes towards the top. We're using this knife. You use a needle, but something sharp, so be careful. So I'll do the top one first. One. The other one is like maybe a centimeter below it. It doesn't really matter. And we have our two holes here, and those are going to match up to two holes I poke here. It doesn't matter where you punch the first set of holes, but the next set should be directly across, and then 90 degrees and across from that, and then one in between each of those. And that'll be eight evenly spaced legs in the end. Now we're gonna use the wire to string the legs or tentacles onto the body. And if you don't have wire, string will work just fine. We're gonna make a little shape like that, a little U, and I'm gonna find our two holes that we made right here. And we're gonna stick the wire in like that. Those match up with the holes on the tentacle. Okay, like that. So they're attached and we're gonna close the wire and twist it off so it's secure. All right, so as you can see, we have our tentacle and our wire that's connecting it to the body. As you can see, this is a really short tentacle, and that's because uh, the first two holes I punched in the body were really high up, so make sure those aren't too far up or else you'll lose, you'll lose this behind the body. And also, it looks kind of ugly right now because you can see through everything, but we're gonna paint it so it'll be nice and clean and pretty. Here is our makeshift awkward octopus, and as you can see, it's in classic makeshift colorway white. 
and uh, I think it looks pretty good, you know, kind of bounces around, it's kind of cool. But it's missing a face, obviously. So remember how I said you're gonna use a hole puncher? Well, that's to make the eyes. I have these little pieces of paper that I punched out, and I just use a black marker to color them in. What was it? I always get really nervous when I'm about to glue something because you only got one shot. It's the kind of pressures I deal with. Wesley Chan. You ever notice how things that are cute the further their eyes are apart, the cuter they are. Think about that. I don't know why that is, but if you look at like anime, Hello Kitty. Eyes far apart. Eyes not so far apart. Here is the final product of our makeshift awkward octopus. It's a little basic right now, so feel free to add props if you want. You can give it a little cap. And if you actually paint this the same color as this, it looks like a squid. So that's kind of cool. I hope you guys like this little craft that we did. It's really easy, uh, really fun. Make sure you share whatever creations you make on Twitter with us and hashtag The Makeshift. I'm Wes, thanks for watching another episode of The Makeshift on ISA TV and I'll see you next time.